ओके सो वी आर बैक विद विद अनदर वीडियो फैम जी क्वेश्चंस केसेस नेक्रोसिस इज सीन इन ऑप्शन ए सीएमवी इंफेक्शन ऑप्शन बी सेफिलोकोकल इंफेक्शन ऑप्शन सी ट्रेपोनेट्रेपोनेमल इंफेक्शन ऑप्शन डी एच एच एस वी इंफेक्शन सो पॉज एंड गेस द आंसर In order to answer the question, we we should know what is necrosis. So, necrosis is a form of cell cell death or tissue injury in which which is caused by infection, injury, or lack of blood supply. It is a type of cell death that is not normal part of cell of life of cell life cycle and typically results in release of cellular content that can cause inflammation and damage to surrounding tissues. necrosis can occur in various organs and tissues throughout the body and can be caused by a range of five factors including physical trauma toxins infections and disease and disease ji so we have uh, five uh, you know six types six types of necrosis coagulative liquefactive cases fat fibrinoid and gangrenous okay so you you need to know uh, in in which in which uh, type of necrosis we see uh, what are the what are the morphological features of the of this necrosis uh, or what caused this what caused this, this type of necrosis and lastly we have the we have the histology of the of the of the necrosis so in coagulative what happens that there is ischemia or in fact in most tissue except brain okay Coagul coag and, and you know in coagulative the the tissue the the tissue is preserved the tissue shape the 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 cells of the tissue are preserved because because uh th there is lysis of the ly lysis of the enzymes okay so ischemia or or infarction injury denatures denatures enzyme proteolysis is blocked okay and and histology we see preserved cellular cellular architecture cell outline seen but nuclei disappear okay increase cytoplasmic binding of binding of eutoxin eosin chain so so increase in eosinophilia or red or pink color okay in in liquefactive there is bacterial abscess cna infarcts okay infarct is basically the area where 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 there is in where there is a where there is a focal necrosis seen and and this liquefactive is caused by the neutrophils enzymes lysosomal li li enzyme that that digest the, that the, digest the tissues okay that digest tissues okay and early cellular debris and macrophages late cystic spaces and cavitation seen and neutrophilic and cell debris seen in bacterial infection okay now cases so cases this is this we need to know so tb uh, systemic fungi eczema histoplasma capsulatum and nocardia and also the syphilis okay syphilis uh, syphilis is caused by the bacteria called as a treponemal pallidum okay so macrophage wall of infecting mi mi micro organism and form the granular debris okay and and the histology we can see fragmented cells and debris surrounded by lymphocytes and macrophages which we call which we call the granuloma and cheese like gross appearance okay and then uh, we have fat fat uh, fat necrosis is caused by the uh, enzymatic enzymatic it has two it has two mor morphology enzymatic and and non enzymatic in, in enzymatic we have the acute pancre pancre pancreatitis okay and in and in the non non enzymatic traumatic uh, we have the injury to breast tissue okay now uh, this fat necrosis is is caused due to the damage damage damaged pancreatic cells release lipids which break down tri triglycerides liberate fatty acids binds calcium and this causes the Sebanification, chalky white appearance, and the histology of fat necrosis is is that outlines of dead fat cells without without peripheral nuclei, 
Sabinification of fat combined with calcium or pH dark blue on H -E on H and E stain. Okay. And uh, we have we have uh, fibrinoid necrosis. Now this is seen in immune immune vascular reactions that is pan and non-immune vascular reactions like hypertensive emergency or preeclampsia. Okay. Now this is due to the immune complex deposition as in the type 3 hypersensitivity reaction and or plasma protein as well as fibrin leakage from, from the damaged vessel okay and the, the histology of this uh, of this uh, fibrinoid necrosis is that the vessel walls contain contain eosinophilic layer of of proteinaceous material okay and now last last type of necrosis is the is the gangrenous necrosis so uh, you know, uh, we see we see gangrenous necrosis usually in the in the feet, uh, in the legs, and in the arms. More often in legs. Okay. Uh, the the uh, this is seen in the distal extremity and GIT uh, after chronic ischemia. Okay. Now, uh, now gangrenous necrosis is due to the dry 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 gangrene is due to the ischemia. And uh, weight weight gangrene is due to the super infection. Okay, and the histology is like coagulative liquefactive superimposed on coag on coagulative. Okay, guys. So now triponemal infection. This this was the question of uh, today's. So syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a bacterium called triponema pallidum. This bacteria is a is a spirochete, which means it has a spiral shape and can move around by twisting his body. Treponema pallidum is very sens sensitive to, to environmental changes and cannot survive for long outside of the of the human body. Syphilis is typically spread through sexual contact but it can but it can also be transmitted transmitted from the uh, from an infected mother to her baby during pregnancy or cerebral. Syphilis can be treated with antibiotics but it's important to, to diagnose okay, okay guys so our, our answer is option c okay so i i, I highly recommend you to you know uh, check the this uh, diagram of a uh, um, classification classification of necrosis because you know uh, th there are many questions regarding the classification of the necrosis and you, you need to know like uh, where, where where do we see the coagulative necrosis where do we see the uh, gases necrosis gangrenous necrosis okay where do we see the cases necrosis what is the, what is the morphological appearance of this of this necrosis okay guys thank you